Hello, welcome back to Miss Price's art class. We're continuing our watercolor practice. Today, we're going to paint the boat. I have the boat instead of the six panel. I have it on a larger piece of paper so that it's easier to see in the video. And I'm going to be painting this upside down so I don't make any guarantees about how great it's going to look when I'm finished, but at least you can learn what to do. You need to sketch lightly some details in the boat. I want this to look like an old kind of sailboat that you see at Cape Cod or someplace like that. Now remember if you use burnt umber and ultramarine blue you can get a nice gray. So I have mixed that on my palette in the center and I'm going to take some water. Watercolor is painted in layers so we start out pale and we work our way up to darker. So I'm going to start, I'm going to put a little shadow on the back of the boat like this. And then I'm going to paint along these ridges where the pieces of wood have separated over the years. Like so. I'm more familiar with the insides of rowboats, but I think uh, boats are pretty similar, so we're going to make the inside of this a little bit darker. If it's in the shade. I feel like it's quite that. I'm going to dab a little bit of this off with a paper towel. Now, while that's drying, I'm going to come up into the sail with some of the same gray. I'm going to leave the sail pretty much a lot of white. Now this paper is not very expensive paper. This is to practice on. When we do our next, when we do our larger painting, we're going to use paper that weighs a lot more, 140 pound, and it will accept the paint a lot better. You can actually take it, if it didn't turn out, throw it in the bathtub or in the sink, wash the paint off and start over. But you cannot do that unless you use really good paper. 140 pound, 300 pound. We'll talk more about that later. I think I've taken too much. I don't want too much of that white to disappear. This paper is not going to do what it would on the better stuff, but at least we get the practice. Using the brush, using layers, that's the main thing. People want to paint watercolor really dark starting out, and that just doesn't work. Leave some of those things. Now the boat's a little bit drier. We come back and layer a little bit more on here. Maybe not cover the whole thing. Build it up in layers. Now the water, we use the viridian green and the cob um, thalo blue, and I want to pump the blue up a little bit in the front so it's a little stronger. Colors are closer to you, they're stronger than what things that are far away and that's called aerial perspective. So you want to make the things that are close a lot stronger on the things farther away. Make those lighter. So I'm probably going to leave the water up here you know, maybe a little darker in spots, but I'm going to leave it lighter as it goes towards the horizon so that it has more depth with a perspective. Another thing that you can do in watercolor, and it may not work on this paper, but we're going to try it. I'm going to try to lift out some clouds. I'm going to put some clear water on here. And this will work better on better paper, but you put clear water and you lift off with a paper towel. That works some, not a lot. Okay, so that's most of our boat. I may come back with a little bit darker layers later, but I think that you have the general idea of how to proceed on your project. Thank Good you morning. very much. Please stand.